China may have the world's largest population, but it still faces a shortage of labor. Businesses are scrambling to find enough workers to keep the country's manufacturing boom growing. So they are turning to robots to fill the gap. NHK World's Dais Gyasma reports. This factory is located in Hangzhou, an eastern coastal city near Shanghai. Along with human workers, eight robots are working here to make exercise machines. The company exports rose steadily over the past two decades. But last year, tougher competition resulted in falling sales. They slumped by 30% compared to the year before. Dan Shaolei manages the factory's operation. He says in recent years, it's been harder to find the number of skilled workers he requires. As the population continues to age, fewer and fewer people, including the young, want to do physical labor. The traditional human labor wave tactics will be getting smaller. For example, he needed welders, but they are in short supply in China. They are crucial for making good quality products. But the fire sparking process is dangerous and physically demanding. To attract more welders, the company offers higher wages only to find it drove up production costs. So the company tried something new. It installed robot welders. Just one can do the work of four humans. The cost for welding has decreased by around 20 to 30 percent. It's normal in our industry. The number of robots sold in China has kept rising over the past decade with a 30% increase on average every year. Last year, 37,000 robots were sold. That made China the world's largest robot market. There is room for expanding the robot industry, even in China's interior. In my opinion, the demand will keep growing 30% a year for more than three years. Robot makers are going all out to take advantage of this opportunity. A Japanese manufacturer built a factory in Changzhou in June last year. Most of its robots are for the auto industry. The factory makes more automatons than most other plants worldwide. Naturally, the facility uses robots to make its robots. This machine is used to clean products. It uses dry ice, and this helps speed up production. To meet China's growing appetite for robots, this factory has been stepping up manufacturing during the past year. It completed its expansion three months ahead of schedule, and now it can produce 400 robots per month. On average, the plant now takes in 10% more orders than it had planned for. The Chinese market is still very unpredictable. I am looking forward to seeing what kind of robots sell well here. I'm having a good time wondering what kind of factory we want this to become. Cheap labor used to fuel China's economic growth. But as wages rise, those days are vanishing. Now, some factory owners are turning to robots to ensure the country's economy keeps expanding. Daisuke Azma, NHK World.